My name is Tamar Kali, and I will be at Soundtrack Cologne on the 24th of August discussing soundtracks and movies. I'm a second generation musician. My dad was a bass player here in New York, and I grew up um, trained as a choral classical singer as um, a Catholic schoolgirl, but my practice of music happened in real life. Um, on the, in New York City on the punk rock and hardcore scene. Uh, so I'm self-taught in various ways. I am a performing and recording artist and a film composer. Um, my first film score was for a film called Mudbound, and I have also scored a film called Come Sunday. I've pretty much been a musician my entire life. My training started at home with my dad. Um, vocal training and then eventually I taught myself to play the guitar because it can be hard to have a musician parent and kind of butt heads. <laughs> we butted heads when he was trying to teach me certain things um, and then in school I was being uh, trained as a choral classical singer. I used to sing in a choir and actually for masses, television masses here in New York City as well. So my general music theory initial training and learning happened in that context. And, uh, but uh, in terms of being a musician, I've been a musician my whole life, but when I decided that I wanted to do that as a profession, that happened after a year in college because I, tr I actually tried not to be a musician. Um, I majored in English education in college. Well, so I might be a little unique in that when I am composing for film and the fact that the work is be going to be used beyond me, so it's not about me as an individual, it's not about my, my voice as a performer, there's a certain amount of comfort and release that I have because I'm an independent performing and recording artist. So there's so many hats that I'm wearing when I'm composing for myself and preparing for a performance. So that when I'm composing for film, it's very singular. So there's just one thing that I need to do. And, and I mean, technically not one thing, but in terms of just being able to compose and that's it. Being inspired, listening, uh, I think, that's the most exciting part. I find that when I'm working on a project and when I've completed it, I feel like I've grown a little bit more as a human being because one major component of getting it all done from composition to orchestration to uh, the copying and getting in the studio recording, um, being able to engage all these different artists at different places in their career and also in different aspects of of the business um listening is like super key and um i always want to be a better listener i think like human beings are really horrible at listening for the most part but i find that these projects allow me an opportunity to kind of like sharpen that skill a little bit better um so i enjoy that and i mean from the creative process of listening um listening to the timbre of the voices in a scene that I'm scoring, listening to the environmental sound in a scene that I'm scoring, you know, opening myself up to think about what it is that I might be able to add to that moment. Like, so that's the creative process.